I think last week's routine was definitely one large feat to, you know, or one big hurdle to get over because um, there were so many logistical things that we had to tackle between using the outside and going through control rooms and making sure the camera could catch everything and sound and audio and lighting and... Um, if but, you could see behind the camera, uh, it was amazing. It, it, it's really fun actually to watch. Wait, to watch. you have to see Napoleon because he's behind the Steadicam operator because he knows all the shots. And then he jumps out, sits in the chair, does a point, and then jumps back in to keep the, you know. But not just me. There, were, there was, you know, every <laughs> dancer is running to reposition to another spot and, and every staff member is running to reposition at a different spot. And we have a bunch of hidden fun things in there. If you rewatch it again, there's a gorilla that crosses screen. That look was for the that gorilla. was that was one of the executives, and you got to look for the gorilla, of course, and and a whole bunch of little things. Tab the behind Mary, you know, Mary doing the big dip, and Tab's in the back. I'm like, <laughs> again, you know, it, it's a lot of little moving parts that no, I don't know if everybody realizes that made it a lot of fun. For us, we always love that single shot, all in one shot, and every number, in essence, when we choreograph, can be done in a single shot with one camera following in it. And this was just a a way to show what happens when they come through these doors. When they get out of that car and they say, get to the stage, what happens? They don't just you know, appear on the stage. They go through all these this different processes and it was nice for us to be able to show that to the people and you know, do the little tricks like the quick change. There was a lot of people don't, didn't even realize that they changed from all of their street clothes into tuxedos in a matter of three eight counts. So there was a lot to that. Yeah, Nigel gave us his Bentley, you know, so the kids could jump out of the Bentley. That was very awesome of him. I mean, we had to get it car wash afterwards for him. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. We've been washing his car every day since. <laughs> yep. Big go, ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, go you good. Go ahead. I, you, you know good. what? Go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead, baby. I think for us, it's always fun to um, just play with different characters and the ho the hotel scene with the bellmen uh, having their, a party of their own and a prop. We always love playing on a prop, you know, and and, and creating visuals and pictures as well. For, for me, it was, the, it, it was the perfect blend of having two people that have a lot of character, a song that is a lot of fun, and then being able to play characters that don't ever have fun. You know, the Bellmans are just da 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 and here they are to see them, like, doing the Bernie. And, you know, that kind of stuff for us is so much fun, and hopefully people enjoyed it. We like it hot, you know, we like to have fun, but then we also like it hot and steamy once in a while, and they sure dished it out for us, and, and, and in an emotional way. I mean, there was definitely strong characters for Jasmine and, and Aaron to portray, and um, I think during the week we were talking about, they did a really great job at executing the moves, but it was we were worried if they could convey you know, that message that we were trying to get them to, to do, and, and they did, so we were they super proud. They did great. The L.A. Heat helped out. Because it's hot here, so it, you know you saw all the numbers tonight. They were every single one was hot. So it went right along with how it feels here.